So, let's use 10. 10 theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Okay, again, we decided to be here. Now, theta, remember, this is a general term. Uh, I'm choosing this theta to be this, but I could have easily chosen it to be that, okay? So, we got 10 theta, 10, 41.4 is equal to opposite. Now, what's opposite from this angle? And when they say opposite, they're not talking about opposite angles. They're talking about the sides, okay? These opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse always refer to the sides. So, 10 of 41.4 is opposite over adjacent. So, what's opposite from this is 4.1. And what's adjacent? Well, it was the W we're trying to solve. We're assuming we didn't know what this was. So, this becomes W. So, what you do now is you go 10 of 41.4. 41.4, 10, which is 0 0.88162 is equal to 4.1 over W. Now you've got to get W by itself, so you cross multiply this up. So you've got W times 0 0.88162 is equal to 4.1. And you want to get W by itself, so you divide by 0 0.88162. Divide by 0 0.88162. This kills this. So 4.1 divided by 0.88162 is W is equal to 4.6505. Now, according to the sig figs, these guys are going to vary a little bit from the answer we got previously, but we don't care because we only want to take it to one sig fig anyway. So this becomes 4.7. You follow? You know what? Let's use this angle to find out W. So let's assume we didn't know what W was. Again, we, have, we did it two different ways we got the same answer. Let's do it one more way to get the same answer uh, to convince ourselves that it doesn't make a difference. As long as we're using information that we have that fits into the equations, we can solve the problem. So let's use this angle beta to find out what W is. And assume we didn't know this. Okay, So let's erase it just for the hell of it. So, if we use this angle, W ends up being opposite beta. So we're looking for one of these guys that has the opposite. Well, sine has opposite and tan has opposite. So we can use sine or tan. It's up to us, really. Let's use... 10. Actually, we use 10, we use cos, let's use sine. Okay. So we got sine of beta is equal to opposite over oh, hypotenuse, which is 6.2. So again, what we're going to do is, we know what beta is. Beta is 48.6. So let's sub that in directly. So that becomes sine 48.6. So sine of 48.6, so 48.6 sine is 0 0.750111 is equal to W over 6.2. And then we're going to cross, multiply this sucker up because we want to get W by itself. So that times 6.2 is W is equal to 4.65069 blah, blah, blah. Again. The, the decimals over here differ a little bit from what we got before, but we don't care because we're again going to one decimal place. And this rounds up to 4.7. Again, we get 4.7. So it doesn't make a difference which formula you use as long as you know two of, the, two of the variables here and you're solving for the third one. So keep in mind that to solve for one unknown, you need one equation. To solve for two unknowns, you need two equations. To solve for three unknowns, you need three equations, and so on. Since we only had one unknown, we could have used any one of these, and we did. And we always got the same answer. Now what we're going to do is, uh, I'm probably going to cover uh, congruent triangles. Uh, so we'll just talk about that real quickly, okay? Good luck. Practice these. Um, 
hopefully I'll get some questions up on my uh, site soon, so you can do those or just go through your textbook and uh, try them out. Okay. Good luck.